Hello everybody and welcome back. Let's see if I remember how to do this. So today I want to talk to everybody about my top fantasy priority reads for the year. And I currently have five new series that I'm really wanting to start and four series that I either need to complete or at the very least continue at some point during this year. I am terrible about sequels. I will read a book and then accidentally forget that the rest of the series exists, even if I give the book five stars. So let's just jump in with the series that I really need to go ahead and start this year. The first one is one that has been shouted about from the rooftops from several booktubers that I really admire and really think that, at least in some parts, I have a lot in common with, and that is Trader's Blade by Sebastian de Castell. This is the this is the first book in the Great Coat series, and especially Jade from Jade Ray Reads has not stopped talking about this series since I started watching her channel. And best I know, it is an adult, pretty hardcore, grimdark fantasy series about a group of great coats that are potentially framed for a kill and have to work out this royal conspiracy. I'm not 100% sure. I just know from hearing her talk about it and how much she loves it and the fact that I think there's like torture and lots of action. I don't know what it says about me, but that sounds like it's right up my alley. The next book is one that I actually don't hear a lot about in the booktube community. And it's one that my dad actually read um, several months ago, completely binged the series and has been raving about ever since. He's been trying to get me to read it for months and I just keep telling him that my TBR is a little too stacked right now. And that is Promise of Blood by Brian McClellan. So this book on the back, let me just read it for you because that pretty much sold me from the beginning. It says, A bloody business overthrowing a king. But amid the chaos, a whispered rumor is spreading. A rumor of broken promises, omens of death, and the gods returning to walk the earth. It sounds fantastic, and gods coming back to walk the earth, omens of death. What about that doesn't sound fantastic? The next series that I really want to get started on this year is one that has been around for a while, and I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to feel about it. That is The Black Prison by Brent Weeks. I've heard fantastic things about this series. I did read the first book in his other series, I think The Way of Shadows, and while I enjoyed it, there were things about the writing style that I didn't love. I do think that this book is written after that one, so hopefully things will have really started to improve. To the best of my knowledge, this is a fantasy series about color magic. I think it's a pretty hard magic system, similar to the vein of like the Mistborn series or something along those lines. So I'm really interested to give it a go. I think it's something that I'm really going to enjoy. Next up is a beloved fantasy series that I either hear absolutely fantastic five stars. You have to read it. If you haven't read it, who are you? Why are you a fantasy reader? And then I've heard people that are like, I really don't understand this. It was super, super confusing. It's really dense. I don't get the hype. And that is Gardens of the Moon by Steven Erickson, the Malazan series. So this one scares the ever-living crap out of me. I'm not really sure even what it's about. I've been scared to find out. I just know that it's been praised for its great character work and its intricate character development and character relationships. So I really do want to give it a try, but these books are not small. I mean, it's a big paperback. The print is teeny, teeny tiny. And I'm just worried that I'm not going to love it. And I don't want to be the one that has to say I'm not going to love it. But I hope I love it. It sounds like something I would love. The next up is another series that I really haven't heard a lot of people talk about, except for the author has a new release coming out at some point this year. And I didn't realize that I already had one of his books on my shelf, picked it up on a whim, but I picked it up because it sounded so good. And that is Soul Keeper by David Duglesh. Dalgish? I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that and I'm sure I'm butchering it. But this book, it just says um, that Devin is a soul keeper traveling through remote villages as a preacher and a healer. But when a mysterious black water washes over the world, the veil is torn, flooding the land in ancient magic and forgotten races. And not all the creatures that have reawakened remember humanity fondly. So it really sounds like there may be a bit of mage-like magic and creatures, gods that have come back to walk the earth. It sounds exactly like something that I would enjoy. And so I am looking forward to delving into this, I believe, trilogy very soon. Okay, so that completes all of the series that I'm really aiming to start this year. Those are kind of my top priority reads that I really, really need to get to at some point in the near future. 
So let's move on to the sequels that I really need to get read at some point this year. First up is one that Bobby has been screaming at me about to continue since I read the series. <laughs> First up is one that Bobby has been yelling at me about to continue. She even bought me all of them in hardback so that I didn't have any excuse to not read this beloved trilogy and I'll link her channel down below. But that is Grey Sister by Mark Lawrence. I've read the first one, Red Sister, and while I really enjoyed it, I didn't connect with Nona as a character as much as I thought I would, but I still really enjoyed the world building and everything that went on within this story. So I think that's only going to improve upon the second book. Red Sister is about a girl named Nona that is basically ripped away from her village and taken into um, a nunnery, but they're also trained to be assassins. And there's different levels of their magic system. Some are species that have been super strong, some are really fast, and it's kind of about her navigating this system and going back and figuring out exactly what happened. So there's several different timelines that are going on in this first book, making it a little bit confusing to follow if you're not really paying attention. But I think that in Grey Sister, everything is going to start to make more sense and hopefully I will start to connect with Nona as a character a little bit more. Next up is a sequel to one that I actually just read this year and really, really enjoyed. And that is The Name of Things by Jen Lyons. This book is also one that is a super, super confusing start, but in a really intriguing way. Um, the first book follows, the first book follows Kieran, who when we start the story is in a jail cell talking to some sort of creature and kind of giving her his life story. And then we get butted in from time to time with footnotes from someone that is kind of writing letters and reenacting what all happened in this story. And it's a lot about parentage and who he is and how he came to be where he is. There, The magic in this one involves dragons. It involves um, several gods and gods of death. It's extremely confusing, but in the most intriguing way. I've heard that this one actually follows a different character primarily and that some people even enjoyed this more than they did the first one so I'm really hoping to get to this one very very soon. Next up is one that I do not understand why I haven't gotten to yet. I have no excuses except for to hide in shame and that is Valor by John Gwynn. I loved Malice. I thought it was great. The first 200 pages did take me a little bit time to kind of get my bearings and figure out what was going on and really learn the world but after we got halfway through I was Hooked. I absolutely loved that series. So this follows several different characters. The first of which is Corbin and all he wants is to be a warrior in his kingdom and he really has to wait until his 15th name day before he is able to take the trials and learn the arts of a sword. We also have Viridus who is an extremely skilled swordsman and has been sent off to be a part of the war band for Prince Nathir. And then we also have Nathir, whose point of view is kind of given throughout other characters, but he is just really wanting to get the glory. He is wanting to prove himself to his father and to be what the kingdom deserves. And this book starts off in a very simplistic way of who is the chosen one and who has been chosen for what, and that there's a dark force that's going to kind of balance everything out and really expands into some great character development and some great relationships with awesome action. And so I cannot wait to see how the story continues in Valor. And I, like I said, really have no excuse as to why I have not read this yet. And lastly, on the fantasy series that I really need to read this year is a conclusion to a fantasy series that has taken me far, far, far too long. And that is Empire of Gold by S.A. Checkerboardy. This is the last book in the David Bad series that starts with City of Brass. I am a little bit dreading this last book because all of her endings have been massive cliffhangers with huge plot points and not exactly everyone survives. And so I'm a little scared to see how it's going to end, but I think it's going to be fantastic. And this is one that I'm really hoping to get to in the first half of the year so that I can really finish out this trilogy and hopefully it gets the ending it deserves. 
Okay, so that covers all of the priority fantasy series that I want to get to this year. I say fantasy series, but it really covers most of the priority fantasy reads that I want to get to this year as not a lot of fantasy books are a standalone, but this covers the bulk of everything. Let's see how many of them I actually get to this year. Sound off in the comments down below and let me know which of the series that I have not started yet you think I should pick up first or you think I will like the best. And we'll check back in later to see how I have done with all of these this year. Thank you for tuning in to this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and I hope to see you again next time. Bye!